Alright, what's up? This is BMS. Welcome to Let's Play Castlevania. This time we're going to be going through the game on the second quest with the whip only. This is sure to get bloody. Alright, the classic Castlevania that was released for the NES back in 1986. Damn, that's a year before I was born, but it's still just as good today as it was then. I mean, come on, everybody loves the classic Castlevanias. If you don't, you're wrong. I mean, look at that, it's got everything from a pantless, power-walking vampire hunter to Dracula himself. It's fucking gold. Come on. You can't miss. Alright, now like I said before, this is a challenge run of the second quest with the whip only. Now, what makes the second quest different from the first quest? Well, it's harder. No shit. How does it make it harder? Well, as you notice, there are a hell of a lot more bats flying around. They're faster, and there's more Medusa heads, and they're also faster. And some of the other minor enemies, like those zombies there. Well, there's three instead of two on the screen at once. Big whoop. Don't worry about those. You can also take four... You, excuse me, you also take four hits of dam four blocks of damage for each hit. I was wondering if I was gonna be able to get that out. Uh alright, look at that. That's skill right there. That's what happens when you play this game since you know, for you get good at it. Also sorry it was taking so long to actually get this thing started. It's, as you may have noticed the music is a little different. What I'm doing is I'm I went to the VG Museum music museum or whatever you want to call it dot com and I got all the good might I music I'm putting that in place of the normal music since hey I want to be different difference not always a good thing but I'm doing what I can well alright we're doing pretty good haven't taken a hit yet let's see if we can keep that shit up this is the last room and hmm. okay well so much for the no damage but one hit out of the whole fucking level is bad fucking bad Damn things like to come in there in tight spaces. You can't jump! No! We're already at the boss, alright. This guy is easy with sub weapons. He's easy without them. You just have to kind of get his pattern down, which isn't exactly hard. He basically, you know, swoops at you like that. And if you're a dumbass and you just stand there, he'll hit you, just like that. Now, I guess the strategy for a whip only run would be to, whenever he stops like that, if you jump, he swoops good stuff. Manipulate the shit out of him. And then after, say, six, seven, seven, eight slots, he's done! And so are you, with level one. Good stuff. Uh, yeah. Uh, up next, level two. It's like the tower or some shit like that. Yeah. Alright, level 2, some kind of weird tower or some shit, and this is where you really start to feel the pain of the second quest. You know, I'm not really sure why I collect all those damn things, it's not like I need any more points, you know, 215,000, I think that's enough, I'm covered. Anyway, what makes this level bad is that little bitch right there, Medusa Heads, and that crafty son of a bitch, that's exactly what I'm talking about right there. There's more of them, they're faster! And there's a lot of pits in this level, and you, can, you know, they like to knock you down them. It's, yeah, I don't know, it's like they're out to kill you or something, man, I just don't get it. Yeah, other than that, the level's not really changed. Other than extra Medusa heads and extra bats, none of the levels are really changed, but whatever, you know. Why get technical with this shit? It's Castlevania. And speaking of Castlevania, there's not exactly much of anything else that I can say about the game that you shouldn't already know. I mean... Look at that, you got Simon Belmont, you walk around, you whip candles, you pick up hearts, you occasionally walk over the piece of meat and regenerate your health. I mean, we're not exactly dealing with quantum physics here. 
Wow, 4,000. By the way, I think that special treasure is actually only available on the second quest. It's not like it helps you out anymore, though, so it's kind of a bum deal. You go through all that trouble, and all they give you is a fucking 4,000 piece of treasure. Bullshit. You know, actually, if you can make it through this air this room, and the one we're about to go in right now, this level's not that bad. I mean, what makes that last room tough is you got those moving platforms while the Medusa heads are bombing your ass, and they like to knock you off those pretty easy. What makes it hard here is the Medusa heads like to knock you into the spikes, and those are insta kills. They like to do that too. But if you can get past that middle one, it's it's all good, dog. It's all good. Yeah. Uh, the only there's no more Medusa heads for this room, which actually doesn't matter because we're through the fucking dangerous area. Thanks a lot, game. Ah, uh, the bone pillars. Gotta love those. I know you don't, but whatever. Not too bad. Same as uh, first quest. Just whip six times. They're gone, baby. They're gone. Oh well, it's going too soon. There's Medusa heads and a ghost. Oh yeah, your ghosts are faster. Yeah, it's not all that big of a deal. All right, we're almost to the boss now. If we can just make it through there, which well we did. And I missed that last little bastard. Tried to get revenge, couldn't do it. Simon, you let me down, brother. This guy's not too bad, just whip like a motherfucker, and he'll he'll eventually, but she'll eventually die. All she can do is drop those little snakes and run into you. So unless you're low on health, shouldn't be a problem. And voila! We're done with stage two. We're already a third of the way done. Next stage is a little bit more difficult. Mainly because, well, Medusa heads. <laughs> Who'd have thought? Alright, stage three. Like, the outer wall or some shit like that, I don't know. This is where we get introduced to our next bastard enemy of the second quest. Actually, he's a bastard in the first quest, and there he is. Mr. Flea Man. He loves to hop, and he can be a real bitch unless you know how to manipulate his ass. Which is easier, actually, than you think. Basically, if he's in range of your long whip there, that's when he'll do like his giant hop and jump over it and shit, and I missed him. Never miss him, but of course, now that I'm doing the recording this shit, of course I'm gonna miss him. And I get hit by him, dude, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, don't jump off this block. If you jump off, a ghost will appear behind you, you never need that. It's an extra enemy. Who needs that, man? Anyway, back to the flea men, and if they're out of range of your long whip, then they'll hop short. So yeah, knowing that, you can pretty much kill their ass easy. Look at that, another hidden treasure, you know, it's... How do I find these things? It's like I know where they're at or something, you know? It's gotta be psychic or something, man, who knows? Alright, this should be the area where the Medusa heads start flying in again. <laughs> Although they made them dumb in this game, especially on this area right here. If you just walk straight, they'll pass right under you. What the fuck shit is that? I mean, come on, man. Just don't jump. This guy should... Alright, he was supposed to jump in front in front of me! No! He has to go back and he hits me. Why, of course. He jumps in, He jumps off the little platform all 50 times that I play this to get good at it. But this time? Yo! He's gonna do shit his way. Alright, I like that. That's, that's the way it usually works with me. I start recording and shit just goes crazy. It does shit that it's never done before. It's amazing! And we should almost be at the boss or some shit like that. Well, one more room and then we're at the boss. The boss is... This boss basically depends on your health. If you have full health, piece of cake. If you have half health, like I do, you're gonna die. Unless you've got a sub weapon, which, heh, I don't. But anyway, there should be a piece of meat somewhere around here, I think. I thought. Yeah, actually, what the hell am I thinking? Yeah, it's right in front of the boss. Good lord, I'm going crazy. It's insane. Alright, well, we should almost be there. Ah, there's our ultimate destination. There's where the dark evil count lies in wait for us, and that's not good. This means that I might actually die on this boss here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't want to get that. Anyway. So I guess I'm halfway in between where I told you you should be. Half health, you're gonna die. Full health, you've got him whipped. I'm three quarters health. It's a toss-up. What you want to do is, you know, get over in that corner where that little bitch is at right now, but 
since he's over there, you can't exactly do that. Basically, just get over in that general vicinity and whip like mad, and you'll eventually do that. You will win. Hopefully, if luck is on your side, which it was me. Alright, that's three levels down. That's half the game already. We're making good time. Well, one more video should get this, hopefully. If I can just make it past these next two.